Hello YouTube, uh, I'm going to give you a little um, quick tutorial on how to delete your browsing history, delete cookies um, from uh, the three major browsers which is uh, Google Chrome, Firefox and Internet Explorer. Um, keep in mind it might differ a little bit from system to system, uh, which case it would be either uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista or Windows 7. Um, the reason you'd want to do this uh, every now and then is to avoid uh, having problems with uh, getting online. Uh, you may notice some pages are, are loading a little bit slow, uh, some are not loading, uh, or just having problems in general with getting to certain websites. So we're going to begin using uh, Google Chrome. So our homepage with it is actually at yahoo.com. And on Google Chrome, you can go to the little icon with the wrench, and you're going to scroll down all the way down to history. You're going to go ahead and click history. Now, keep in mind that I've already deleted all my history of all three browsers, but this is just a little quick um, walkthrough on, on how you should go about it. Um, right in this area, you would see all the web pages that you previously uh, visited. Um, you can go and click on edit items. Uh, and it's pretty much going to display the entire history, not just for the day you're on the computer, but uh, all in general. Since the last time you've done this, if you've done it before, um, or uh, pretty much since you installed Google Chrome, so you're going to click on Bra Clear All Browsing Data. Uh, it's going to bring up this window. You can select Clear Browsing History, Download History, Empty Cache, Delete Cookies, Clear Save Passwords. Um, you can uncheck this if there are certain websites you have uh, auto password fill in like uh, Facebook, YouTube, your banking institution um, and you want to avoid entering your password every single time you visit it you can go ahead and uncheck it and it will leave it there. Uh, clear saved autofill form data that's uh, pretty much similar to your passwords um, you know this would actually save your um, your username or if you constantly are online filling up uh, forms uh, where it asks you um, you know address, location, you know etc etc this is a part that would, you know pretty much automatically automatically fills that in for you um, it is up to you if you want to go ahead and remove it my suggestion is you do especially if you share your computer with somebody else so make sure um, if that is the case, have them all checked and clear your browsing data. And that's all there is to it. And you can go ahead and close your history tab and get back to online browsing. The reason you want to do this is, uh, is if you are sharing your computer with other people. Um, of course you don't want them to see what websites you went to or you don't want them to log into your banking institution and see how much money you have in the bank. Um, you know, just keep your privacy if you're sharing this with a relative or friend. You don't want to share your information really. Um, so now we're going to go into uh, Mozilla Firefox. A very similar process. Now for Mozilla, you're going to go up to Tools. We're going to go down to Clear Recent History. Make sure that you know. And usually it'll it'll appear this way. Um, the time range to clear, you can select the last hour, two hours, today, or everything. Uh, I strongly suggest you click everything. And for details, it really gives you just the other options where, um, you know, that you can delete. Now, site preferences, that's just um, in the case of Google.com or Yahoo, there are certain things that you want to appear on your homepage. Um, site preferences saves those preferences onto your browser so you can leave those on really that doesn't disclose any um, information from your uh, Facebook or you know whichever may be the case you, you usually go into and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and clear now um, usually it takes a little bit longer for that window to close because it, it would be erasing all that history in this case I've already done it as well um, and that's pretty much it for Firefox. So now we're going to go to Yell Famous and Not Loved by Everybody and Internet Explorer. And this one is just a little extra step. Uh, now, this does depend on which version of Internet Explorer you have. Uh, most normal ones will have it up here. We're going to go to Tools. 
um, older versions would have it um, at the top right up here pretty much gives you the same type of options it doesn't matter which one you select you can use this one you can use this one they're both the same thing so what we're going to go is we're going to internet options and then on this window let me bring this down a little bit center it we're going to go down to browsing history delete temporary files history cookies save passwords and web information so you're going to go into delete now again depends on the version you'll have these boxes you can delete or it'll give you independent delete buttons on the right hand side in this case this is the newest version it's going to have these boxes you don't have to delete everything form data all that it's entirely up to you but again if you're sharing your computer make sure all these are checked uh, more importantly uh, preserve your favorites website data which is in this case you know your preferences you know color scheme uh, if you want certain things to appear on your home page whatever may be the case this make sure you have this um, click otherwise it's going to delete all of that information and you have, you're going to have to set up your page again so um, temporary files cookies and history is always going to be checked and that's going to delete all the history on your browser everything that you've uh, searched for gone online all the websites is going to go away uh, you're going to click delete and leave those windows I'm just going to wait for that to go away now again in this case I've already done it but for some reason any explorer tries to delete some more even though there's nothing there and once that's closed I'm going to go ahead and click OK and that's it that's all for major browsers if you have any questions um, if you have any browsers you'd like to see how it's done you're not really too sure uh, send me a message. Uh, I'll try and get back and, and send, you know, create a video as quickly as possible. And you know, just check often to see if it's already up online. Please comment, rate, uh, subscribe if you like it. Thanks.